Hi, this is Junaid Jamal from series videos about Silver Light applications. We have a special guest, Nizam Tajik. Hi, welcome to Silver Light Quick Talk. Hi, Junaid. How are you? Thanks for welcoming uh, me to Silver Light Quick Talk. So, what you gonna show us today? Uh, basically, I'm gonna show you uh, the uh, basic tools for creating Silver Light applications. Uh, basically, the vis Visual Studio 2010, the Expression Blend. Uh, so we can get started with expression blend so in this video i'm going to show you some cool features about silver light so i can carry on yes okay thank you so this is the basic uh, tool for uh, silver light and uh, actually this is a complete user experience tool you can have you can put you your idea you can put your animations you can put whatever in your mind uh, in expression blend to create a wonderful silver light application so I'm gonna get started uh, with create uh, with form file menu and then create new project okay so expression blend by default we have a silver light and WPF applications so I'm gonna create a silver light application so in silver light applications we have s uh, some uh, some samples and here we have five okay so basically the first is silver light applications plus website it means that your silver light application is going to run in a website i mean that it will have it will be in inside an html code or a dot net an sp spx page you mean uh, i mean that uh, spx page mean we so sp dot net pages so uh silver light application and uh, mean that a silver light application may be run out of out of the browser so uh, basically this is a very cool feature so the other things we will talk about later and the sketch flow that uh, that i will talk about uh, later on in the other videos so i'm gonna get started with uh, silver light applications plus website so give it an m and uh, test silver light okay fine okay it's loading up so this is the basic uh, layout for the expression blend uh, for a silver light have here we have uh, our layout items our grids and every everything we, we have controls we also have assets uh, assets library uh, we have uh, okay so uh, let's get started okay let's get started with uh, the layout user control okay you can switch to properties okay this is the basic properties of every element you clicked on so uh, when you click on the user control it will uh, it will have the properties of user control so basically you can see that this is it's having no background uh, background name is null so i can uh, i can come to the, uh, the the grid okay basically this is a grid name layout root uh, so a user can start putting uh, their controls their pages or their everything here so uh, the layout control uh, have also have background uh, and opacity mask and have a lot of things so and uh, just scroll it so I'm gonna create a grid view uh, a triangle we have we have three type of shapes rectangle ellipse and the line so we can create a rectangle so this is full so as you as you can see now we have a rectangle here we can name it uh, also so I will say that background, background, okay. So in the, uh, to this uh, background, I can have fill color like this. I can change it. So I have also gradient brushes. Uh, I can switch to this. I can also switch to this. So now you you know that uh, we have a cool uh, background here. So uh, by this, by pointing on the rectangle. And we have on mouse over state uh, we will have a plus button uh, shown. So you can change your your border, your border, uh, your border radius basically. And as you got, as you guys see the see that radius X and radius Y, we can also change it manually from here. But no, we going we are going to uh, scroll it from here. As you can see that it's changing. So. I'm gonna leave this and now I can come to stroke basically stroke what is uh, the, the border the border size mean what is that is the border size so I can have the stroke thickness more okay fine so I can have stroke color 
white or to something like uh, okay nice so this is basic uh, background for our application so another thing I'm gonna start uh, with the buttons and the other controls but first of all I will I will tell you that uh, Silverlight applications is much more like a flash uh, that Adobe flash so mm, I'm gonna create a button okay this is the basic button okay this is the predefined button that is already shipped uh, with the Silverlight SDK so and uh, a button that I'm going to uh, have myself so this is now this is a rectangle as you can gu guys can see that this is a button and this is a rectangle so uh, this is a rectangle I can I can have fill color I can stroke to null and uh, I will change the f I will change the fill color to to white okay so this is now a rectangle and now I'm going to con con uh, convert it into a button so fine so I'm going to right click uh, right click on it and and we here we have a lot of options that is the one is the Mac into control so I will click on it now here we have select button uh, I will tell you that it what what it uh, it's basically for, but you can uh, it it's a cool feature about Silverlight or uh, I can say that it's a cool feature feature in Expression Band that you can create a custom control, I mean the control that is of user defined type. So I can have a name like uh, show me, okay show me this is the name of button. So as you guys can see that it also have properties like button. So uh, this is the the name uh, the content that will be inside the button click uh, click me okay click me so now you get you guys can see that uh, this is now in the template mean that you are going to edit the template of button you are inside so I can also return to user control look at this uh, this is a scroll up uh, button is if I, I go and click it okay let's see so it's going to show me uh, that how the the basic elements in our uh, in our user layout. No, but I'm going to right click on it and edit uh, edit a current edit template. Mean I want to uh, edit this template so I can have um, uh, change. I want to change it. So here now I can come into states and as it is button. So I ha I have mouse over state. I have normal state. I have pressed uh, and much more. So, okay, mouse more, mouse over, and I can. Uh, I want to jump from this. So, and on mouse over, I c I want to change the basic color. Okay, and uh, uh, just uh, okay, like this. This is the best. Okay, the best should not be like this. Best should be white. So I'm gonna change it again to when it's mouse n from normal to mouse over, and now I'm gonna change it. Okay, it's changed. So you, as you can see, you will have this so I'm gonna increase this so now I can check it run it okay so it will start with its uh, uh, starting with its expression blend development server cause uh, we, will ha we, we are having a server side application so as you can see that the normal button this is normal button the custom con the you the predefined control that is button is that that is that was shared with the SDK of Silverlight or uh, SDK of WPF applications and we also have a button here. So the as it click me and that uh, is a user control and that is defined by user. So it's having a transition 
a transition so let me uh, give you a, a, a quick demo of how transition works basically this is normal state and I gave it uh, a transition effect of 0 0.66 six seconds so that mean it means that when it comes to mouse over it will it will pass six seconds so 0 0.6 seconds so 0 0.6 uh, in zero point uh, from flowing uh, from when you when I put my mouse over the button it will uh, it will come to this state and from coming to from the normal to the mouse over state it will take 0 0.6 seconds so as you guys can see that uh, it's having a cool effect okay so this was basically the video for a quick demo about civil light application and uh, in this series we will have a lot of application discuss uh, about civil light and we can have a, a lot of things this uh, will be discussed uh, for creating business applications on civil light so uh, i'm nizam tajik uh, and uh, basically thank you for inviting me to this cool video okay bye